As he continued his rotation, he brought up his left forearm, knocked his attacker's hand away as he grabbed the man's wrist with his right hand. Then Ryan heaved his body forward into his attacker's chest, and this sent the man tumbling backward toward the floor. Jack immediately went for his gun, but the falling man took hold of Ryan's shirt and brought Ryan down with him. Jack Jr. lost the space he'd created from his enemy that he needed to draw his pistol from his inside the waistband holster, and now, as they crashed to the floor together, he knew the opportunity was lost. He'd just have to fight this battle, hand to hand. The attacker went for Jack's throat, fingernails digging into his skin, and again Jack had to knock away the threat with a violent arm swing. The assailant flipped from a sitting position to his knees, and then hopped up again to his feet. Ryan was below him now, and vulnerable. With no other options, Jack went for his pistol, but he had to roll onto his left hip to free the weapon from its holster. In the time it took to execute this move, his attacker had pulled his own gun from the small of his back, and he shot Ryan five times in the chest. Pain stitched across Jack's body with the impact of the projectiles. Damn it! He yelled. Ryan was shouting at the pain, yes. But more than this, he was shouting at the frustration of losing the fight. Again. Ryan ripped the goggles off his eyes and sat up. A hand came down to assist him and he took it, regained his feet, and reholstered his weapon. An airsoft version of the Glock 19 that used compressed air to fire plastic projectiles that stung like hell, but did not injure. His attacker took off his own eye protection and then retrieved the rubber knife from the floor. Sorry about the scratches, old boy, the man said, his Welsh accent obvious, even buried as it was behind his heavy breathing. Three Jack quarters of a mile. Attention. Turn left Too on slow. Pennsylvania 315. His adrenaline from the hand-to-hand -hand melee mixing with his frustration. But the Welshman, in stark contrast to his American student, was calm, as if he just stood after sitting on a park bench feeding pigeons. No worries. Go tend to your wounds and come back so I can tell you what you did wrong. Ryan shook his head. Tell me now. He was mad at himself. The cuts on his neck, as well as the scrapes and bruises all over his body, were the least of his concerns. James Buck wiped a thin sheet of sweat from his brow and nodded. All right. First, your assumption is awful. There's nothing wrong with your reflexes, which is what you are talking about when you say you are too slow. Your speed of action is good. Better than good, actually. Your body can move as quick as you please, and your dexterity and agility and athleticism Turn are quite impressive. Turn left aggressive. on Pennsylvania 315. is your speed of thought. You are hesitant, unsure. You are thinking about your next move when you need to be full tilt action. You are giving off subtle little clues with your thoughts and you are broadcasting your next move in advance. Ryan cocked his head and sweat dripped from his face. He said, can you give me an example? Yes. Look at this last engagement. Your body language did you in. Your hand twitched toward your hip twice during the fray. Your gun was well hidden in your waistband and under your shirt, but you revealed its existence by thinking about drawing it and then changing your mind. If your assailant didn't know you had a gun, he would have just fallen to the ground and climbed back up. But I already knew about the gun because you told me about it with your actions. So when I started to fall back, I knew to pull you down with me so you wouldn't get the space you needed to draw. Make sense? Ryan sighed. It did make sense, though, in actuality. It one Buck half mile, take exit on right because James to I-99 South. Before the exercise. Still, Jack conceded, an incredibly savvy enemy could possibly discern Ryan's thinking about making a play for a hidden weapon on his hip. Shit, Ryan thought. His enemy would have to be almost psychic to pick up that tell. 